In this lesson, you will learn how to divide whole numbers by unit fractions. Let's read the word problem you're about to solve. Kara is putting sugar in a container. The container holds five cups of sugar. The scoop she is using to transfer the sugar holds one-third of a cup. How many scoops will she need to fill the container? You're going to need to come up with a math expression that will allow you to solve this question. So let's take a closer look at the information in the word problem. The container that Kara has holds five cups of sugar, and the scoop that she's using holds one-third of a cup of sugar. And you need to figure out how many total scoops she will need to fill the container. If you take five cups of sugar and you divide that into thirds because each scoop holds a third of a cup, you arrive at the math expression that will allow you to come up with the answer to how many scoops will she need to fill the container. Let's take a look at this expression visually now. Picture this as Kara's container with five cups. You repartition each cup into thirds since the scoop she's using holds one-third of a cup. And you see visually that five divided into thirds gives you 15 sections right here. And that makes sense because 5 times 3 equals 15. So 5 divided by 1 third is equivalent to 5 times 3 since they both give you the answer 15. But how does 5 divided by 1 third change into 5 times 3? In order to understand this, you need to first know what the word reciprocal means. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, you switch the numerator and the denominator. So in the expression that you just came up with, 5 divided by 1 third, you need to find the reciprocal of 1 third. So you're going to switch, as you see here, the numerator and the denominator. The 1 moves to the denominator and the 3 moves to the, the numerator. So 1 third becomes 3. You're going to see this again in the steps to divide whole numbers by unit fractions. In order to divide this whole number by this unit fraction, you need to 1. Rewrite the first number, so rewrite 5. Then number 2. Change the division sign to a multiplication sign. 3. Make the second number its reciprocal. Like you just saw, you're going to make 1 third 3 over 1 or 3. And lastly, you're going to solve the multiplication problem. So 5 times 3 divided by 1, which gives you 15. And as we saw before, Carol will use 15 1 third scoops to fill a five cup container. Good luck with your future problems.